it's been a challenging year, Cynthia, for so many people. Uh, how much longer will the online learning continue here in the GTA? And will it be safe to go back to school? These are questions that many teachers and many parents are asking tonight as families are waiting with bated breath to find out what's next for their kids. I think for our family to function, we would need to send them back. Whether that's the right choice, I'm still not sure. For the last year, Jackie and her family have been in survival mode. The mother of two is a nurse at a Mississauga hospital. Her husband is also juggling a demanding job while both coaching their young daughters through virtual school. We have two girls that are doing their best, and my eldest has amazed me, but she really has stepped up to become a mother and to help parent our SK child, which is not something that's supposed to happen. To me, what an eight-year-old should be doing is learning through play, having experience with her peers, being a kid. Though the government wants GTA kids back in class on February 10th, it has not made a final decision. While many parents are eager to know right now what's in store for next week, Jackie is taking it all in stride. I'm kind of glad that it's a little bit last minute because I know they're thinking about all the information possible. Next question. The expanded testing announced by the education minister today doesn't go far enough for the president of the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. Sam Hammond says widespread testing should have been happening long ago and how it will work still isn't clear. Where are the 625, 650 nurses uh, that were hired into the system? Why can't they be administering these rapid tests in schools uh, on a regular basis? And it keeps talking about these public health units will have access to that. When? When will they have access to that? And how are you going to implement it? Hammond says with the more contagious UK variant now spreading in Ontario, he believes there's much more the province can do to ensure the safety of the school community. If an announcement comes on Friday saying it's back to in-person learning for, you know, all teachers and students in the GTA, do you, do you support that? Do you feel it's, it's going to be a safe environment? We have said consistently for months now, why is this government not? Why are they reluctant to reduce class sizes, which would increase physical distancing in classrooms? Are they going to provide three-layer masks, upgraded masks, uh, to to uh, education workers across this province. And Hammond says that many of the safety measures uh, being talked about by the education minister today are nothing new. For example, before the Christmas break, uh, he says that many school boards in Ontario already implemented the masking of children as young as in grade one. And when it comes to the possibility of March break being canceled to uh, continue learning, Hammond is hoping that the government will consider uh, the burnout among teachers, students and their parents and decide that this break is desperately needed for everyone to recharge.